Good afternoon. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Yes. Let's talk about where you live. Uh, what do you like most about your hometown? Well, actually, I come from a very small town with uh, around uh, 5,000 inhabitants. It's more or less 50 kilometers from Como, which is the, the, most, the main town. And the thing, the, the thing I like mo the most of my town is probably the, the fact that you can stay, it's a very secluded area and you can uh, stay, you, you can have, uh, you can relax so you don't have the stress, uh, the stress of the life of the city. Mm. And, uh, is your hometown a, a popular place for tourists to visit? Yeah, there are many tourists, especially in the summer, that flo flock into my, to my town and near town in Switzerland too uh, for, for holiday for a week for a month especially from Germany France and has your hometown changed much in recent years but honestly I, I think it hasn't changed very much in the recent years it's, it's a small town there, there haven't been a lot of change but um, now there are not many people coming to my town as there were in uh, in the 80s. In the 80s it was very popular to mm. come there, especially from Moland. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Yeah. Before you talk you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make some notes if you wish. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so here's some paper and a, a pen for making notes and here's your topic. Please don't write on the, anything on the booklet. Yes. I'd like you to describe a time when you helped someone. Yes. Okay. Okay, you, you, you want to start? Yeah. yeah. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when the time is up. Yes. Can you start speaking yeah. now, please? Okay. Uh, the moment um, I remember I helped somebody who was a friend of mine, he was a friend of mine, to, he wanted, he is completely in love with a girl, that is now his girlfriend, and I helped him to conquer <laughs> his girlfriend, his girlfriend, because he's a very shy person and uh, introverted, he's not very self-confident at all, absolutely, and so I, I gave him some advice to um, to to try to conquer, let's say, and uh, I helped him. I, I told him to take her out for a dinner. It's a very simple thing, but sometimes it's difficult for some people to understand it. And uh, the the result was that uh, she was expecting him <laughs> to to ask her to ask her to go out. And so they they had a beautiful uh, beautiful uh, evening together. And they are now they are now they are now a couple, let's say. And uh, and I I, th I felt really useful <laughs> in this moment and uh, helpful. I'm uh, I'm happy to have uh, the chance to uh, help a friend of mine because uh, on the other hand he helped me in many stage and many moments of my life. And. Uh, and thanks to this moment, now we are very, very good friends. And um, I think that's all. We've been talking about a, a time when you helped someone, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider, first of all, helping neighbours. Can you tell me some of the practical things that people can do to help their neighbours? To help our neighbors, I think the the most common action you can do to help a neighbor it would be to lend him something mm -hmm. he doesn't he doesn't have to take care of his uh, of his uh, children when he's uh, is away, or uh, take a look at um, at his house when mm -hmm. he's on holiday. These kind of things. Why well, why should neighbors help each other? Because. Um, because it comes quite natural, I think. Uh -huh. You may be have a problem. You may have a problem one day, and if there is somebody that can help you, it's a, it's a good thing. Um, 
you live in a, quite a small town, yeah. and, and, and you know Como as well. Do you think that people in small towns help each other more than people in cities? Yes. Yeah, I, I think that it depends on the country. For example, uh, here in experience I had here in England um, showed me that uh, people are much more helpful here than in Italy. And uh, but I think that generally in a small town, since you more or less know each other, you are more uh, kind and you tend to help uh, mm. other people more easily. Right. So why why don't they do the same in cities? Because the, the, the life in city is quite stressful. Mm -hmm. There are many people that they have to run from one part to the other of the city and they don't, um, they don't take care of people that maybe need help, they don't notice. Okay, let's, let's go on and think about attitudes towards helping other people. Um, some people don't want to help other people. Why, why do you think that is? I don't know, I honestly, I don't know, but uh, I think that um, the main attitude is help. Yeah. The people some, tend some to people help each are, other. Maybe they've had a bad experience or... or yeah, it may be that sometimes uh, you had a bad experience in which you felt really bad and nobody helped you. And now you don't feel ready to do, to do it with the, the peoples. But mm. I think that, uh, by the way, you should always try to be helpful because you can't base your attitude on a past experience. Do you think that the governments have a, a responsibility to help people? Yes, yes, I, I think the government should uh, create a structure, should uh, create also the right, uh, the right um, base to, to give people the chance to, um, to take up a, mi a mindset. Mm -hmm. The, in which uh, a mindset of helpfulness. I don't know. Right, but doesn't that sometimes mean that that people think that it's it's only the government's responsibility? No, it's not only government responsibility. First of all, is a personal responsibility. I think that everyone should be should help each other. First of all, mm -hmm. then the government can create a structure and then create the can act in the right way to allow people to be helpful mm -hmm. and to help each other. But I think that's mainly it's a, a feature of a person. So, Emanuele, do, do you think that some people deserve help more than others? No, I, don't, I think everybody uh, deserves the, the same amount of help from other people. But sometimes I understand that uh, it's difficult to help some people. First of all, people that be, doesn't be, don't behave in a, in a right way or that made you suffer, suffer in, uh, during your life or, um, in order we, or with people you had a bad experience with. But in general, I think that everybody should have the same, uh, the same amount of help. Okay, let's, let's go on and think about attitudes towards helping other people. Um, some people don't want to help other people. Why, why do you think that is? I don't know, I honestly, I don't know, but uh, I think that um, the main attitude is help. Yeah. The people some, tend some to people help are, each other. Maybe they've had a bad experience or... or yeah, it may be that sometimes uh, you had a bad experience in which you felt really bad and nobody helped you and now you don't feel ready to do to do it with the, the peoples but mm. i think that uh, by the way you should always try to be helpful because mm. you can't base your attitude on a past experience thank you very much that is the end of the speaking test thanks